Oh yeah, listen, this one is special. We got the legendary Doc Walker sitting there for DJ set Schemes. <laughs> All right, Aladdin the Prince, we're going to talk about LeBron James doing something extraordinary for the culture. The Redskins woes, and what do you do to keep the morale up in the locker room? Just think of your check. <laughs> we're going to talk about it. You know what time it is. Run it! Welcome back. It's another edition of Run That Back, Aladdin the Prince. I have the legendary Doc Walker sitting in for my guy DJ Schemes. You set me up. <laughs> set up. Hey, Schemes, where are you? We 0-4 oh, and y'all invite man. me in. Hey, That's okay. We're going right. to talk about it, though. Um, for those that don't know, uh, Doc Walker, legendary tight end, formerly for the Cincinnati Bengals and the Washington Redskins. Mm -hmm. Man, it's such a pleasure to have you on the show. I'm happy to be here. We had Bradley Beal on the Team 980 yesterday. Nice. You know, basketball, I love it, and it's going off, so I can kind of divert my attention. <laughs> if, if we're not doing well on the gridiron, we can go to other sports. Mystics are in right, it now. Right. Nat's about to go into it. Absolutely. So there are some no, absolutely. Okay, let's get straight into it. The Washington Wolves. Ah, yeah. man. 0 and 4. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not a fan of the of the. I'm a, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. I'm be, no, be honest with you. Okay. But you know, I've never. I and I'm I'm all, I'm all about competition. Yeah. But I've never seen the team look this bad. Well, I was on a team that was worth. We were 0 and 5. Wow. Yeah, and Gibbs' first year in 1981, uh, and we ended up 8 and 8, mm -hmm. and then 12 and 1, 14, 2, the whole thing, kicking Cowboys in the butt, going <laughs> to the Super Bowl, whole nine yards. Right. But on a serious tip. You got to be able to fight through it. And right now, they have, in my opinion, this infighting. Mm. You know, they're not rowing in the same direction. There's some selfishness, right. there's ego involved. Uh, they do have some good players. The mm -hmm. Cowboys are better, uh, the Eagles were better. Mm -hmm. The Bears had proof on their defense, and the right. offense stepped up. And then with the Giants, that was even, but the Giants pulled ahead. Right. So it's our own fault. No excuses. They got to get their heads straightened out, mm -hmm. quit their little pettiness, and go out and take all of that out on the opponent. Mm. Now, when you have a locker room that kind of seems divided, mm -hmm. there seems like there's no urgency. I saw a couple You're of right. plays where right. Haskins was trying to get them to the line and run a play before the yeah. end of the half. Yeah. People just walking gingerly. There seems like there's no fight. Yeah, well, you know, it's a lack of leadership. Mm. You know, your check should be leading you as an individual, but they're young. Right. So you need somebody, the coach right now, he knows he's being chased. Right. But he also understands he's got a safety net. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's going to be in this league no matter what. He's going to be in this league longer than most of his players. Wow. So he's under no kind of pressure. You're not taking my livelihood away. Mm -hmm. His brother's coaching. He can go play golf for a year. Correct. He can go to Cincinnati. They love him there. Right. And Jay's a good dude. Right. Everybody's not cut out to be king of the hill. Mm. Everybody's just not. And in my opinion, he's proven by his record, he's not. Mm. Well, let's talk about Haskins. Do you think it is now his error? Not his error until he go out and take it. Mm. Um, this <laughs> con game they pulled up in New York, there's no such thing about you not being ready. Right. That's up to Dwayne. Right. You in there, you, you looking over people's shoulder. If they don't give you a rep, you got to get there mentally. And I don't think that he had a problem with that. Right. He just didn't get his game speed up to it because he hadn't played. Correct. That was his first game. Yeah. He didn't panic. Right. He was smooth as a cucumber. But he needed a more urgency. Mm -hmm. He didn't have the time he thought he had. Right. And uh, But he'll learn from that. I don't buy not being ready. It's on you as an athlete to be ready if you didn't get any reps. Mm. Now, with this being a team game, do you feel that he has the proper pieces that will make him succeed? He went into Ohio State, in my opinion, harder situation. Mm. All Americans in front of him, team is loaded. They don't need him. Right. He adapted, evolved, was thrown in the fire. Penn State, Michigan, big game, rose above it, led him back. Right. I'm not worried about him. He's going to be fine. Mm. He better hope that everything around him is built up. Otherwise, he'll get crushed. That's what I'm afraid of. Well, we've seen we've seen this time and part time of again. Rookie. Wow. Part of being right. Everyone goes through it. He's no different than anybody else. He's able to handle it. 
But right now, like I said to him, Dwayne, get off IG, dog. Right. You don't need to talk about nothing. You had never played. Right. You just got to be humble, get your checks, and be studied. Be the first in the park, be the last to leave. Mm. But see, if you're falling for the okie doke, start letting the public and people around you, all your hanger owners, they're going to talk you into the fork road. Mm. And you take the wrong path. You know, <laughs> if Don't you follow quick. two trails, <laughs> you can never hit the right one. Right. Yeah. Right. So I would suggest that he, like a lot of them, they talk right. too much. Yeah. They talk too much. They ain't mm. beat nobody. All you hear is chatter. Yeah. You know, I'm going back to New York. I, man, play. That's it. Get out yeah, there and, and do your Shut job. Shut up and play. Well, speaking of keeping your morale up in the locker room, there was a video that went viral yeah. of some kids playing, I don't know what this game is, but oh, check yeah. it out. Oh, Jackson. Oh, Doc, now, what did you guys do in the locker room to keep the morale up, or did you guys play? Yeah, we did a lot of, of things. Okay. Some of them not fit for public consumption. <laughs> but the old anesthetic bomb, you know, that hot stuff. Yeah, you yeah, put in yeah. The guy's jock. Oh, wow. You know, and you do that, you put Vaseline right. in the guy's Levi's uh -huh. pockets, and then watching me come back, put his hand in his pocket, Levi, the whole thing, shaving cream in the phone. You call, hey, dog, remember, we had no sales. Right. See? Right. So they say, you got to go back in the phone. Could have been pay phone, phone uh -huh. in the back. Got to go pick up the phone. Got shaving cream. All this stupid stuff <laughs> like that. We threw ice on guys. Got to get in the shower. As soon as we put stuff on, we had an ice machine right uh -huh. by the shower. You take a big scoop. Mike Nelms did all this. Scoop of ice. <laughs> he was a place guy. Oh, he was, oh, uh -huh. it was horrible. Hit a guy in the back. Guy be screaming. It'd be like, be like you know, nails hitting you uh -huh. in the back. So we did some stupid things like that. You know, guy going inside of John, the guy take a newspaper. George Stark was famous for uh -huh. this. Big newspaper. Like, he going in and have a session camp out, and we get a thing of water and throw it all over the thing. Wow. You got be sitting in there. Oh, so it was great. <laughs> Good times. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. But you have fun when you win. Mm. You owing whatever, ain't no pranks going on, mm. dog. Seriously. You need to be studying, and you are tight because everybody in this town, for the most part, Loves the team, loves football. Right. And it's embarrassing to fail. For us, there was no income. We didn't have that revenue. Right. These guys, some guys are rich. Maybe they don't feel the pain like we did. Mm. I don't know. Well, we know who's going to be feeling the pain soon the NCAA. Um, recently, How'd y'all do last week? Y'all beat New Orleans? No, we did oh, not. Okay, we I didn't see. I didn't did watch. Not. Okay, I didn't mean to bring that no, up. No, no, it's okay. okay. Hey, no, listen, no, I didn't no. see the game. You know, you know what? No. <laughs> no, no, I didn't want. No, no, I didn't know. I didn't know. You know what? No, it was a good loss, though. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. I feel that you know the Cowboys. We and I'm a realist. No, we haven't played anybody this season. First three games were preseason games for us. Yeah. Uh, I so you. I think that this was a good test to see where we rank okay. as far as a elite team. And I think later down the road, when, when it comes to playoffs. It's tough to play in New Orleans. Man. It always, it's very, always, always hard to play in there. Y'all lost in New Orleans. That's yeah. tough. Yeah, that's tough. It, yeah. Close game, too. So I think, you know, and Drew Brees was out. So, you know, I think moving forward in the season, I think this is a good reality check for them to Drew see. Drew didn't play. They beat you with the backup. They, they okay. beat, Teddy Bridgewater is not no slouch now. No, I'm just saying. Say, hey, <laughs> No, nah, dude, I'm not trying hey, to say hey, hey, okay. Hey, it's okay. No, it's no, okay. I'm just trying to say, listen, man, I didn't, I didn't, you know. Hey, I'm a realist. Back. But what's going to okay. happen is down the season, in the playoffs, uh-huh, Amari, who's, who's banged up, they, we, they're not going to try to say, they, they, we, we lost, okay. we, we took an L, you know. But you know, any given Sunday, any, time, any given any, Sunday, anything you know the rules. Anything can happen. You know the rules. But any given Sunday, it could go down. And my Cowboys took an L, it's all right. But still number one in the division, and uh. You know, it's all about what you do in the postseason. That's true. And y'all, in the postseason, wow. 
Now, that's what I'm saying. Man. It's a good, good, good learning y'all opportunity. Y'all won two playoff games in 26 years? Ah, you know, that Green Bay one. Yeah, but one, they got two, though. That Green Bay one yeah, is a little, yeah. we should have been. But you lost that, though, right? We, we, we did. Okay. We did. I just want to make hey, sure. Look, man, hey. this is my first time on the show. <laughs> my first time on the show. I don't want to come on here and be messing with the host. Hey, it's you know, all I just good. Want to make sure I'm hey, straight. Hey, the okay. facts are the facts. I just want to make sure I, I, you know, y'all you lost. The facts okay. are the facts. No doubt you know, about it. But, yeah. you know, I, I can't remember the last time that we saw the Redskins in the playoffs. No, I but just, you remember 72, right? No, I wasn't born. You remember 72? <laughs> no, no, but your folks told you about it. Walt Garrison down there uh-huh. in Houston. Uh-huh. They hit him. He didn't quite get in. Redskins won the Super Bowl. Then 82, y'all mm-hmm. came up in here, you know, and. Dexter Manley tipped. Mm-hmm. Eddie White got yeah. knocked out. Yeah. World Grants in his own Rigo score. We mm-hmm. uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Hey man, no, I just want to put you. I up listen, today. I'm, I'm with it. Okay, I'm with it. I think Doug y'all got that squad though. Doug, y'all what? man, y'all tight. I love the stadium. Oh man, it's tight man. Beautiful. Y'all got y'all got all the ex, all the exterior stuff. Yeah, you really do. Nice yeah. stadium. Nice. Yeah. We got the interior too, though. You well, know, it, I don't know, dog. You gonna see? Y'all, have you seen the Patriots? No. They're just beyond okay. the league. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, we know. Billy sure. checking and Brady aren't fair. Yeah, you're right. But yeah. you had Tuna there. We did. You had Jimmy Johnson. We, we did. Yeah. But Jimmy Johnson gave us a couple. Yeah, you had all of them. In yeah. There. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just want to yeah. make sure. We'll see what Garrett does, though. Yeah. We'll see. This is going to be the oh, season. Oh, you're going to see all right. <laughs> <laughs> but we see LeBron James is doing amazing things. He got the uh, governor of California. Oh yeah. To sign a Real bill tight. that is going to allow. NB, N- NCAA players yeah. make money off of their likeness. Whew, man. How do you think this is a game changer? Well, it, it's a game changer because the greedy rich have to share the profits. Mm. And uh, they're going to fight it. I can't see right. the NCAA going along with it. California being as big as it is in the major schools there with uh, UCLA, Southern Cal, you know, Washington, Stanford, all the way across the board, I'm thinking to myself, right. hmm, it should have already been there. Now, here's what's strange about it. Players realize everybody's not going to profit by this, mm-hmm. but the quarterback should, the running back, the star. Right. People come there wearing a number three. If you right. ain't number three, you ain't going to get none of that revenue. Right. Unless three's a good dude, he take you out to the hamburger joint, buy you one too. Right. It's got to be some trickle down, which it usually will be. Mm-hmm. But to think that a star guy working for the Heisman, the Outland Trophy, doesn't shouldn't get more, is right. un-American. Mm. See, we speak with forked tongue in this country, mm, as facts. you already know. This is real. I would care to see the NCAA not trying to knock it down. Well, I, I think this definitely will increase and make college sports better. It I should think- be. What the door like Reggie Bush when he was at USC. Right. The dude was unbelievable. Matt right. Lyon, they had some super teams with Pete Carroll there. You telling me that as many people are buying and wearing his jersey, and I know in college you are broke unless oh, your folks come right. for money. Absolutely. He got to borrow money. He can't take his girl to get a pizza. Right. It's insane. So what right. they've done back from the Stone Ages when I was there, they've reversed it now. So they have these beautiful facilities, mm-hmm. you know, the dorms or whatever. But right. it's still, unless you have 24-hour kitchens that are open. Correct. Unless you don't have to pay to go to movies mm-hmm. and you can bring your girl or your boys right. into these facilities right. with you, it's not fair. Right. They need to be privileged in that. The students work and go to school, too, but they don't generate revenue for the university. Mm-hmm. It covers a lot of sports that are non-revenue based. Right. So they're getting pimped. Everybody's getting pimped. Absolutely. Share the revenues. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, Jalen Rose has spoke out on this for for years. You oh, know, he's been around. Love the Wolverine. He yeah. Is. So, you know, you've been seeing it for decades. And, you know, they're saying that it's going to take the amateur out of of, of professional yeah. sports. But right. it's never been amateur <laughs> for in the collegiate world. So it's funny how everyone else were profiting except for the players. And now that that this changes things. It, it's, I don't see it going through. I'll say they'll fight it, but it's mm-hmm. like, if you ask me do you want to own a pro football team mm-hmm. and be one of 32 people, they can be horrible at what you do and make a fortune, or be a president of a major university, mm. I've taken the presidency of a university. Wow. Wow. So a private university. Mm. No one knows. Wow. You don't know salaries. You don't know mm. what's going on. The governor, board of governors. See, and we, if we as people of color, you never see, very few of you, are you the presidents, or are you in charge of those funnels? Right. But you look on the field, 
you see a majority of people who look like the people who are not in these positions of power. Mm. Fix that. Mm. See, and then you got me. Good game for my guy, Doc Walker. Big shout out to uh, Gavin Newsom. That's the name of this, the uh, governor in California that signed the bill on LeBron's The Shop. But uh, Doc, thank you so much for coming through. Hey man, I know I'm going to be back. Oh, you will, you will. will, you will, will hey, sure. you will definitely left, coming back. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Right. Um, people want to see you or hear you on your show. What can they Team find? Team 980, yeah. Um, Doc and Galdi. But all day, you can start with Galdi and uh, at 6 a.m. Then Kevin Sheehan, then we come on. Then Brian Mitchell, Scott Lynn, Zabe, and the fellas. And it's just a good thing we got going. We've been doing it a long yeah. time. And uh, we do have some teams that win in this town. We really do. Oh, absolutely. And let's go out and support yeah, them. Yeah, absolutely. Love what y'all do, man. Nah, Seriously. thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Run that go back. Go Saints. <laughs> Cowboys for life. Doc Walker for life. We'll see you next time on Run That Back.